welcome back. So we're up to page 16 of um, the Mel Bay Complete Mandolin Method, and we get to put it all together. Um, he's given us on page 16 um, uh, three pieces, Yankee Doodle, Little Brown Jug, How Can I Leave Thee, um, and that's going to... Um, it's going to challenge you, or well, not challenge you, I'm sure you'll be fine at it, but it's going to let you put, put to the test all of your um, reading and playing skills in first position. So, um, before you play along with me, go and um, write in any note names that you want, um, any fingerings that you want, um, check out the rhythms, you know, if it's all crotchets or if it's crotchets and minims or semi-briefs. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just play through the whole page slowly. So you can just loop it if you want to and play along. But um, it's really cool. You know, I, I can't I can't give you enough credit. You know, you, you're reading music in, in the whole, whole whole first position, all, all strings. So um, I'm pretty proud. Okay, so here we go. It's um, Yankee Doodle. And it's going to be nice and slow. First notes of C. All down picks, all rest strokes. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, C, E, D, G, C, C, D, E, C, B, G, C, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B, G, A, B, C. See. Really good. Now, there's something that I do want to just mention here. That there's, I wonder if the the tricky part for anybody was um, where we what happened was it that uh... yeah. So bar two. See how we got C E D G. The third and fourth notes from a D on the A string to a G on the D string. You're actually jumping that same finger over. That's cool. That's something worth just just taking out and isolating it and and looping it. Take all the time you need to to use the same finger to jump from note to note. And then what we work on is is just making it as smooth as possible. Um, because we don't want like to have da 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 da. We want to uh, create an illusion that there was no gap there. So if I just play that bar, that second bar, C, D, G, you can you can get it. You just you just practice using that one finger to jump strings, and your ear will smooth it over. So um um. Let's go on. Little brown jug starts on what note? Yes. You said E, right? Okay. One, two, three, four. Now that's fun. You, you get get comfy with that one and and just play it over and over and over. Um, not not hours and hours a day, but just play it every day for a little while and just watch it get smoother because it's fun to you know. It's one of those tunes that you can just sort of loop and then it's it's really good fun. So. Don't play it that fast yet. Just play it nice and comfortably and just get the changes really smooth. And then it will get faster on its own. It will. Just 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 play it cleanly, right? And every day it'll just get a little bit smoother and, and easier. Okay, last one on the page. Um, how can I leave the and, and we're focusing, well, I was gonna say focusing on all the low notes, but there's it it goes right up to what what's the highest note here? An, an F, I think. So yeah, so it goes down to our low G. And you know this. I remember this took a while to get the hang of. You know, like which? How do you know it's a G and an or an A? Well, I mean, you've got the um, chart, 
in your hand so you can um, go back and, and look at the G string um, page and just sort of remember what it is. But just look at the ledger lines. There's two ledger lines below the staff. The G is below that, underneath that. And the A is, the line is, the dot is, the note head is actually on that line. It's like it's being speared. But um, I know that you can go in and write all these notes. And, um, and then we'll just play them together now, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, I played it okay, but uh, my singing left a bit to be desired, but that's not the point. Um, it's just naming the notes. Um, so, um, sometimes I'll break things down um, line by line. So there's a lot of notes in that those four lines. So don't feel at all as if you have to play it all the way through every single time. You know, you might say, you know what, today I'm just going to work on the first line or the first two bars, whatever it is, you know, you can just chunk it. You don't have to play through everything from start to finish. You know, you, sometimes you go, well, actually, um, you know, I'm finding the first two lines are easy. So I might just, you know, work on the, the last two lines, you know, wh whatever it is, you know, you, you don't have to just do it the same way every time and actually focusing in on the bit that's giving you um, um, any trouble um, is a really good thing to do, you know, and that's when you, you know, you go, okay, well, maybe I really do want to write some letter names in here or some fingering in here. Um, but, um, okay, so good. You, sight reading in first position. Um, so the next video will be um, just going on through the book. But um, for now, um, you know, give yourself a pat on the back and, um, and play these tunes, and I'll see you next time. Bye.